Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Skippy and welcome to another video. Now this is just going to be a quick video, um, quick update on the Hurricane which is now finished and also if you've seen some of my other videos I've had trouble hand launching the models so I decided to try and rectify that and build a little dolly. So uh, I'll just show you that in a second. But regards to the Hurricane, all finished, it's all nicely coated now, satin varnish, sealed all the decals in, pop and spinner on, Push rods all fitted, it's all tuned up now. Um, I think it looks a lot better with the satin finish to be honest. Comes in at 223 grams without the battery, 300 grams with the battery, so not too heavy, not too horrendous. Um, but I'll still have to put my operator ID on it because it's obviously over the 250 grams. So really happy with how it looks. Uh, and what I don't really want to do is on its first flight on the Maiden is throw it into the ground like I did with my Misha Smith. So that's why I thought, right, how can I resolve that? So I thought I'll try and make a dolly. So I'll go and get that and show you what that looks like. So what's a dolly when it comes to a controlled aircraft or any aircraft really? It's basically um, some landing gear that isn't fitted or isn't physically part of the model. Um, the idea is that you, the airplane uses it to take off and as it gets airborne, the dolly just stays on the ground, much like the old German Comet used to do, the jet there, um, used to drop its uh, gear, its dolly gear, and off it would go. Um, so I wanted to make something for my 30 inch models, um, because if you have seen some of my videos, my launches aren't always the best, um, I still need to perfect those, but I don't want to crash the Hurricane on its first flight, so I thought, I know, I'll build a dolly, see how that goes. Um, so, what did I do? Well, this is it, in its completed form. It's basically a piece of polystyrene, um, made a decent shape for all three aeroplanes, so this will fit the Hurricane, the Spitfire and the ME109. I haven't tried it yet with the Zero or the SPD3, as in I haven't dry fitted them. But what I've got at the front, the hooks which the wings rest upon, balsa with um, foam there that the wings rest on, again keeps the wings level, keeps the airplane level and they've got a slight incline on the back. And then at the back here, just a rib that's removable with dowels here, um, that as the dolly moves along it will stop the tail sliding off at the back. So for this dolly I've decided to use a tricycle, tricycle setup like the airplanes that I've had, so I've used some old undercarriage off a model that I no longer have. Again with this, this is off an old E-Flight Mosquito. This is off the park zone, it's the rear gear. Um, you will note that the back, it does wiggle around a bit. Uh, I've locked it, I've done it so that it locks in place, but also, because I'm not sure how it needs to go, I've got a pin here that I just put through, and then that locks it and won't make it move. So, depending how it operates, um, I'll either need to lock it or just let it use those bits. But this bit, as I said, is just to stop the tail from sliding. The wings rest on here, uh, and this hole here, uh, that's for the hurricane, for the air cooler underneath, because um, obviously it sticks down quite a bit. So yeah, so that's my dolly, nice and simple. Um, hopefully get a video of it working, uh, and then hopefully I'll be using it for my maidens. Okay, here we have the dolly with the hurricane on it. Um, you can see where the intercooler goes, or not the intercooler, the cooler goes through. Dolly sits sits nicely and evenly on the wings there. The wings butt up against the metal and they're slightly bent forward and I'm hoping as it lifts it'll just push it and off it goes. Again this piece is just to stop the tail sliding. Put a bit of foam on there just to protect the smaller models that lower down and I've locked, locked the dolly in place. So that all looks nice and good so I just need to see how it runs outside. There we go, so that's promising, uh, as long as cats don't get in the way. So it all sits nicely, moves, enough power to pull it along, even over those bricks. Nothing fell off, um, and you can steer it using the rudder, which is great. So I think having the fixed dolly seems to work. I didn't need to rotate it around on that one. But yeah, excellent. Hopefully I'll have a, a good day at some point this week and get to the airfield and test fly. 